everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Love of Fragrance and on this particular channel I discuss the large variation of fragrances with you. And when I discuss those fragrances with you, they are fragrances generally that I highly admire, that I love, and I have an adoration for, an appreciation for, and then I turn around and recommend those fragrances to you. And I thank you so much for your subscriptions and my previous subscribers and my current subscribers. But either way, I want you to know that this particular fragrance today that I'm going to introduce you to, to today happens to be one that I have had an admiration for for quite some time because it has such a beautiful, lovely, appreciative aroma that I think that you are going to definitely develop a love for as well. And that's why I call myself Love of Fragrances because I truly, truly, truly love beautiful scents all around me all the time. But this one, this one here happens to be one of a pillar pinnacle of exactly what a fragrance should smell like and that's why we are going to get into this video right now and when I introduce you to this one I definitely want you to conduct your own individual scent test check this out and let me know what you think about it please and the name of this fragrance happens to be Azaro very hot on the market very popular and I want you to understand that this particular fragrance was developed and launched in the year of 2019. Okay. Oh, this particular size happens to be only a 2.7 ounces. I generally prefer to have like a three ounce or even larger if they come larger because I love to utilize my fragrances. But in this particular one, I have selected this one as my fragrance for the week. Since today is Sunday, I decided to make this my fragrance for the week. I have taken several fragrances that I highly love and admire and I decided instead of using them um, so sporadic like I normally do, I initiated a few of them as my fragrance of the week and this one happens to be my fragrance of the week and it's by Azaro and let's get into exactly what this fragrance consists of. Here you have a lovely, 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 lovely distinguishing container that it resides in. Look at it. Isn't that cute? Look kind of masculine. Yeah, but the name of it happens to be Wanted Girl by Azaro. Look a little bit maybe masculine based on the container, but if you haven't figured it out yet, the name's associated directly with this particular design of this here bottle. The container itself has a message. This little indication right here happens to be a trigger. <laughs> like on a pister, um, well yeah, just a little teeny pister. Maybe a teeny one that's appropriate for a woman to use, but here. We have a little trigger right here. And that's why that's how it attains its name. One girl because we have a trigger as if someone has shot can shoot someone with this bottle and you just press down on this trigger because of the fact that everything is mounted on this model, the whole cap, the top, all of this going on at the top is mounted on here. So secure to the point where you can't lift anything. You don't have to pull anything off of this. You you cannot tamper with this. If you do, you destroy it. So therefore, everything's mounted on here so it doesn't have a removable cap on it. So the only thing you really need to do is just press down on this trigger, such as demonstration now, demonstration, check it out, watch. Okay, I have, and here, we have the sprout itself. See right there? That's the sprout. I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot myself. I'm gonna shoot myself. Here we go. Boom. Ooh. Oh my God. That's such a beautiful scent. I'm gonna shoot myself again. It comes out excessively. 
all at once because of the large opening there, which happens to be the sprout, which I think is beautiful. No fussing, no fighting, no worry about trying to get it out. No worries about trying to take the cap off. Just pick it up and poof, poof. That's all you have to do. But with this here baby right here, you young ladies, this happens to be Wanted Girl. Wanted Girl by Fazaro. And it's a lovely fragrance, but it looks even more attractive in a three ounce. Trust me, this is a beautiful fragrance, but it isn't specifically designed for the young lady. But this fragrance itself come to you with a question for her. Whom does it happen to be best for? Whom do you think it happens to be best for? I think it's best for anyone that appreciate an oriental spicy fragrance. Excessively oriental spicy, warm, lovingly, exuberatingly excessive spices in any particular fragrance that smells oriental because it has that flair. It has that fluff of alluredness and leading penetration that grants you the spiciness that penetrates from this particular fragrance that makes it exceptionally adorable. So therefore, the question answers itself. I love for my fragrance to be, to penetrate itself upwards, to flow upwards on my body. That's what I like. I like for it to flow upwards so I can get, and an, an, I can attain an eloquent scent as it flow upwards. Okay, and this particular fragrance right here, we have to get into these particular notes. And in these notes, we are going to introduce you to the top notes, which generally come to you in a citric blossom, an excessive amount of citric scents applied to this fragrance. And then it transfers over into an exceptional amount of pomegranate, which happens to be the opening notes. And you have a scent of ginger applied to this particular fragrance. And then it introduces you to an elaborate amount of pink peppers. And then we transfer on over to our heart notes, which are classified generally as our middle notes. And in our middle notes, we have that origination, which grants you the emancipation of spiciness, which comes with an exceptional amount of spicy notes that consists of a great deal of gourmet type of a white flowers and moon flowers and milky candy aroma applied toward this fragrance. And then we transfer on over to our base notes and our base notes consist of an exceptional amount of tonka beans and vanilla scents and consists of an exceptional amount of patchouli, which happens to be the most leading base note in this particular fragrance, but it also transfers over into a great deal of veteneer, and then it relates into a great deal of base notes that consist of an a woody aroma, which has the composition of woodedness. All of those notes originating together gives this fragrance a very elaborate modification of a very oriental spicy scent which happens to be exceptionally lovely and i highly admire this fragrance and i highly appreciate this fragrance and i highly 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 recommend this fragrance to you because it has that lingering fruity sweet gentle clean atmospheric type of aroma that has an exceptional amount of longevity applied to it happens to be rated as an 8 out of 10. So that's very satisfact satisfying as it's, it's going to be extensive on your body for approximately I would say four hours that you're going to receive total satisfaction with the aroma and the scent happens to be exceptionally lovely. Exceptionally lovely and highly admirable but it's cute it has this beautiful connotation it's cute it's admirable it's appreciative and it's very luxurious i think the hardware the way it's designed and everything give it that little bad girl feeling and everything and give it that little bad girl uh reputation but it's highly admirable the, the fragrance itself 
overcompensate for the design of the bottle because it's beautiful. The fragrance in here, the aroma that you receive from this container is exceptionally beautiful, exceptionally beautiful. And it gives you that lingering quality of desire to where you desire to wear this fragrance. You have an admiration for this fragrance because of the overall scent that it projects. It's lovely, 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 lovely. I highly admire it. I, I want you to understand that these here middle notes in here are the most penetrating notes applied to this fragrance, which happens to be the gourmand notes which happens to be your sweet notes, and it's very obvious in this fragrance, there's honey, an exceptional amount of honey, and it smells a little bit sweet like candy in this fragrance, which makes it very attractive to wear. In other words, there is an exceptional amount of bitterness, but a spiciness is very obvious and very highly detectable, but the fragrance overall is very lovely to wear, and I highly admire this fragrance, and I highly recommend this fragrance to you. So all of you young, all of you women out there, all of you beautiful women out there, you're going out there and get you some of this beautiful wanted girl fragrance, be honey, you're going to enjoy shooting yourself. Go girls. <laughs> get you some wanted girl. You will love it.